Good morning children. Today we shall talk about motion. What is the difference between a bird sitting on a branch and a flying bird or a parked car and a moving car or a train standing on the platform and a moving train? The answer is very simple. In the first case, things are not moving. That is, they are at rest. And in the second case, they are moving. So, when an object is moving, it is said to be in motion. Or, we can say, when a body moves from one place to another, it is known as the motion of that body. But, if you sit inside a moving train and see outside, you will feel as if not just people on the platform, but even the trees are moving. This is confusing. So, how do we know that an object is in motion or not? Let us take an example. You are standing at a railway platform and then a train passes from there. You see the train coming from one end of the platform and after some time it passes you and goes away. It means when the object moves, its position changes with respect to another stationary object with time. Like when you first saw the train, it came from one end of the platform. That time the distance between the train and that end was very small. As the train moved further, the distance from that end increases. Or we can say when the train moves, its position with respect to the platform changes with time. So, while standing on the platform, how did you realize that the train has started moving? The platform where you stood did not move, but the train changed its position with time and moved away from the platform and you knew it was moving. An object is in motion if its position changes with time in relation to a stationary object such as a tree or a house or a platform. So, when we say an object is moving, it is always with respect to another object which is not moving. That is, it is stationary. Like when we say a car is moving, it is moving with respect to stationary trees, poles, buildings on the road. Flying bird, moving car, moving fan or rotation of earth all are moving or in motion. But are all these motions similar to each other or do they differ from each other? Yes, there are different types of motion and not all types of motion are same. When a car moves on a straight road, its motion too is in a straight line. Even a stone falling from a height follows a straight path. Like we saw in the circus, the artist doing a balancing act on the tight rope was also cycling on a tight rope. The motion of the cycle was in a straight line along the rope. So, when the motion of body is in straight line, that is, when a body is moving along a straight line, we call it linear or rectilinear motion. Now, let us see another type of motion. Here, the joker is whirling a stone or a ball tied to a thread. Observe the motion of the stone closely. We will find that the stone moves along a circular path. So, in this motion, the distance of the stone from the joker's hand remains the same. This type of motion is called circular motion. As we saw in the circus, the horse was running along a circular path. Assuming it followed the circular path correctly, its motion can be said to be a circular motion. But in real life, the various motions 
can neither be exactly in a straight line nor in an exact circular path as we know generally a car moves in a straight line but the roads are not always straight also we need to take different routes for different destinations so a car can move along a curved path also when a body is moving along a curve it is said to have a curvy linear motion a moving car taking a turn is an example of curvy linear motion as we saw in the circus the joker was riding the bicycle along a curved path this was an example of curvy linear motion are there another types of motion let us see assume that you are replacing the bearings in a wheel of your bicycle to test you hold the axle vertically and give it a spin the axle at the center of the wheel is stationary while spinning the wheel is not moving forward instead the wheel is turning around the axle every point on the wheel undergoes a circular motion about an axis of rotation such motion around an axis of rotation is called rotatory motion the earth spinning around its imaginary axis is also an example of rotatory motion let us see a spinning top if we observe closely not all the parts of the top move the same distance in a given interval of time the topmost part moves a smaller distance while the extended part moves a greater distance in a given time like we saw in the circus the joker was spinning a ball on his finger this was the example of rotatory motion some motions repeat themselves again and again like when you are swinging in the garden or the earth moving around the sun in the case of earth the earth continues to revolve around the sun and that too in a fixed orbit it completes one revolution in a fixed time and this motion is repeated similar to the earth's revolution around the sun many objects repeat the motion after a fixed interval of time this type of motion is called periodic motion the to and fro motion of the pendulum of a clock also repeats itself in a fixed interval of time so it is also a periodic motion as we saw in the circus the trapeze artist was swinging back and forth that was also an example of periodic motion the motion of our hands while we walk and the motion of fingers as they type on a keyboard or the motion of fingers as they play a song on the keyboard these are some of the motions which repeat but do they repeat in a regular interval no these motions don't repeat at regular intervals so any type of motion that does not repeat itself after equal interval of time is called non periodic motion so now we know quite a lot about different types of motions coming back to the circus show you all must have enjoyed watching the balancing act on the tight rope now let us see what type of motion was there when the artist was cycling on the rope you will say that is easy to answer as the cycle was moving along the straight line its motion was rectilinear motion and that is correct but wait a minute how about its wheels observe the wheels the wheels of the cycle is executing rotatory motion the axis of rotation being the axle of the wheel so there are two types of motions going on simultaneously let us take another example have you observed closely the motion of a ball on the ground here the ball is rolling on the ground 
it is rotating as well as moving forward on the ground thus the ball undergoes a rectilinear motion as well as rotatory motion now let us see a earth from the space what type of motion can you see now yes the earth is rotating about its own axis and it is also revolving around the sun in an elliptical path at the same time it has a rotatory as well as curvy linear motion so many a times an object may have a combination of more than one type of motion at the same time as we saw while cycling on the tight rope there was both rectilinear as well as rotatory motion so today we have learned an object is said to be in motion if its position with respect to another stationary object changes with time let us see what all types of motions we saw in the circus the cycling on a tight rope this was a rectilinear motion the joker cycling around the curved path it was a curvy linear motion same way the horse running around the fixed circular path was circular motion the joker spinning the ball on his finger this was rotatory motion the trapeze artist swinging back and forth this was periodic motion and lastly an object may have a combination of more than one type of motion at the same time like while cycling on a tight rope the motion is along the straight line but the wheels of cycle execute rotatory motion that was all about the motion and its type see you in the next class bye bye kids